guys, it's Emily, and I'm getting ready for the evening, and I am notoriously late, and I hate that I'm late. It's one of my pet peeves, and so I'm taking a few tips from my husband, Donnie, and getting some things ready the night before, and so I thought I would share those tips with you that I'm finding helpful the last couple days, and so one of them is packing my lunch the night before. So um, we typically meal prep. This is our off week between a challenge. And so we've already packed our lunch because I don't have a menu that I'm going off of, which uh, is usually a lifesaver, but these weeks I end up falling into just my kind of old habits and just kind of try to throw something together in the morning. So um, we've already got lunch packed for tomorrow and it's ready to go. I also have pulled out my outfit for tomorrow and have it laid out on my dresser so that it's also ready to go so I don't have to think twice about what I'm wearing. And then um, we've got our workout pulled up on the computer ready to push play. And I've got my workout clothes sitting next to my bed. So when I literally hop up out of the bed, half asleep, I can put on my workout clothes and then I just, I can go to the living room and push play. So those are the kind of things that are pretty helpful, um, that are just simple, but I don't know why I don't do them consistently. So I've got my lunch packed. I've got my outfit set up for tomorrow and now breakfast. So mornings are really hard for me to just kind of get going and get out the door. And so I've done overnight oats before. And this is a recipe that I'm going to show you guys that is very simple. I've done the peanut butter banana one. And this one is going to be a vanilla overnight oats um, that I'm doing. And then I'm going to top it with chopped peaches and blueberries and walnuts. So um, to make, it's a cinnamon vanilla. So I've got half a cup, this is per serving, half a cup of unsweetened almond milk per jar. And what an overnight oat is, is it just kind of ferments itself overnight and literally it's a cold breakfast and it's ready to go. So I've got half a cup of the unsweetened almond milk and then I've got the chia seeds and this is the thickener but it also adds the protein. So you're going to add two tablespoons of the chia seed into these and they kind of get a little gelatinous kind of texture to them I guess and so it kind of becomes this kind of jelly like substance. Okay, so then I'm adding the cinnamon and it's a half a teaspoon cinnamon. There's that. There's another half a teaspoon. And the nice thing is with overnight oats you can really add kind of whatever you want. You could add coconut, you could add other types of almonds or nuts if you want to. I particularly like walnuts with peaches and blueberries. I think it just pairs really well. And then for the natural sweetener, I'm doing maple syrup. You could also do honey, but honey gets this very fermented taste, and then this also makes it vegan. So um, you do a one tablespoon of the maple syrup. And these are not very sweet. I'm not a big sweet person in the morning, but this just kind of adds that little hint of sweetness that it needs. And now I've got the vanilla. Again, just a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, so I'm just going to stir this up real quick so I make a mess. So it's not always the most pretty, but it sure is tasty. And again, I don't add the fruit in the evening hours because it gets too soft. I like my, my fruit fresh. So then I just add the fresh blueberries and the peaches on top. So now we've got the almond milk, we've got the chia seed, we have the maple syrup, the cinnamon, and the vanilla. And now we're going to add the last bit here, which is the half cup of oats. I'm going to try and not make a mess here. Okay, there's that one. So this is, again, a serving for two that I'm doing so that I don't have to plan breakfast in the morning. And I usually pair this with two hard rolled eggs for the added protein. So again, I'm just gonna stir this until the oats are submerged. And I've got these mason jars. I use J mason jars for just about everything. I use them for the overnight oats. I also use them as cups, and I think that's just how I grew up. We used them as cups because they don't really break very easy, and other cups just wouldn't last very long. So, okay. Well, these are just about ready to go. So those are my tips. I've got lunch packed. I've got breakfast ready to go in the fridge. I've got my outfit set up for tomorrow and for my workout. And so that really sets me up for the day. So let's see if we can get out the door on time tomorrow morning 
and uh, I hope you have a good night. I'll talk to you soon.